When you've got a Scrivener project open, you'll see a white section of the toolbar just above the editor's formatting options. This is the Quick Search field, and it actually performs many functions. When you aren't interacting with it, it shows the name of the document currently in focus in the editor. So with a single document open, it will display the name of that document. If you've split the editor to view two separate documents, it will show the document title from the editor with the blue header, the one which is in focus. If you move the cursor to hover over it, the text changes to display the word count for your draft folder and how many words you have written in the current session, a handy way of keeping track of your progress. But that's not all. If you hold the Alt key and click on it, you'll open the Project Targets, which you'll also find at Project Show Project Targets. If you set a target here, let's set a project target of 30,000 words as an example, a slim blue progress bar will appear along the bottom of the quick search field. If you set both a project target and a session target, the progress towards your whole draft will be displayed at the top, and the session target progress will appear at the bottom. As the name suggests though, this field comes into its own as a quick search field. Clicking on it or activating it using the keyboard shortcut Control shift g will allow you to enter a search term, and top results will be displayed below from your project titles and text. Clicking on any of these results will load them in the editor below, and if you choose from a text result, you'll jump straight to that point in the text with the search term highlighted. Holding Alt and clicking a search result will split the editor and open that document on the other side of a split, or if the editor is already split, it will open the search result in the editor which isn't in focus. That's a quick explanation of how easy to use and versatile the quick search bar is. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!